They say that foot dragging the water when you're flying a paramotor trike is a bad idea. So I didn't do it. And for the most part, I've transitioned back to foot launch. Um, I did learn quite a bit while flying trikes, and uh, I completed my first one and, and flew it. It's a very lightweight, proficient pilot trike. It probably wouldn't withstand a lot of student abuse or bad landings. The second one that I'm building is almost complete. Um, it is designed for exactly that, a little heavier pilot, a little rougher landing. Um, it's very stout and it will probably fly just like other similar offerings from commercial vendors out there. But I have this vision to build a third trike. I want to build something that will compete favorably with the best trikes on the market that, that utilize the best power plants on the market right now. In my opinion, that's the Vitarazzi Cosmos engine. And uh, the Zenit by Fly Products is a good example of that. The Condor is a similar example to that. Something that's ultra powerful for one pilot and very tandem capable. So I thought about designing this thing and either making the plans public or maybe even selling it. I really don't want to run a business and I found this project online. It's called the FOMCS, I believe, uh, Motorcycle Project. It's an open source project. All of the engineering files, all of the drawings are open source. You can download them and take them to a machine shop of your choosing, com commission them to build all of the parts. And this weekend, with you, if you have enough time and patience, this weekend you'll be able to bolt that motorcycle together and ride it. Um, I want to do the same thing with a paramotor. So I'm putting together a team. Right now we've got about five guys that are fairly well credentialed. Some have interest. And uh, if you'd like to join that team, please shoot me an email or get in contact with me either on Facebook or or. Or personally I'll leave a link to my email I'm gonna leave a link to that motorcycle project so you can see what I have in mind in the comments section below they're propping launching cool thing about open source projects is that lots of people can contribute their ideas and the design team can make the decision of what is the best ideas to incorporate into the trike. So I've made a, a bit of a list of um, things that I think should be in a trike of that caliber to keep the weight low, thrust to weight ratio high, strength to weight ratio high, be relatively easy to source and if you build one in California and your buddy builds one in Florida, the parts should be interchangeable as long as you have plans compliance with your construction process. It's a living, breathing topic. You know, us old guys don't do this open source concept very well. A lot of people don't even understand how it works. It's not profit motivated. The ideology is free. The, 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 the drawings are going to be free. What's uh, interesting about it is there's still a profit potential. Let's say, for instance, we come up with a design that has carbon fiber fenders. And let's say you're really good at the process of making carbon fiber fenders. You can make them to the plans and sell them to everybody that's building one of these things. Now, they can build their own if they so choose, but their results might not be as good as what you can do in your garage. And if you are the guy that builds the best part and you want to make them available to the community, I believe that the product liability is pretty limited in this way because it's kind of like a decentralized manufacturing concept where maybe, maybe it ends up being me that welds the main portion of the frame. Maybe it ends up being you that is really good at building the axle section. Maybe it's uh, a guy on Amazon who we don't even know yet who builds some of the hardware components that we incorporate into the machine. I think it should have aviation grade hardware. I think it should have uh, a isosceles triangle type uh, tire footprint. 
it should have some length configuration capability for taller people versus shorter people and above all it should be safe so if you'd like to join in the project get on board um, and we're going to do this and I would imagine within about three or four months we'll have the drawings complete um, I have the engineering drawings in the assembly package, the installer's guide, if you will, for the Viterazzi Cosmos engine. Uh, if you'd like a copy of that, I can forward that as well. We're going to design to that platform traditional five-gallon fuel capacity behind the pilots and traditional center of uh, thrust behind the pilot's back, uh, along with some of the other best practice engineering concepts that are incorporated into these newer, powerful tandem capable trikes. I'm hoping a three or four month period will be far enough along that if you wanted to you could follow along and build your own. However, I do have the funds available and I plan to begin construction of my own version of this trike probably sometime in the fall um, of this year. And then there will be a flying prototype out there and you could borrow mine and fly it before you committed to spending the money and building your own. As of right now, the MSRP for the Cosmos dual ignition electric start is right at $5,000. The rest of the components, I hope that we have a complete sourcing list. So in other words, we, we're not going to design something that you can't make at your machine shop. We're going to design something that we know there's a proven path for getting the product sourced. I'll wait. Thanks. All right, clear. Here we go. materials or hardware that's already produced. Servicing might be a little bit different. That might be something that we leave up to the individual. I mean, certainly we can specify that parts be powder coated, but if you don't have a powder coater nearby and you want to spray paint yours, you probably could. Um, well, you certainly could. It's an open source project. So I need a couple key people. What I really need is somebody that's good at web programming HTML language that can handle the final files and if you look at the way that they're presented in that motorcycle project in the links below you'll see how you can take and look at each of those components and look at them in the uh, CAD software download them take a look at them and that's kind of the concept that I'd like to see with the paramotor trike I'm going to create a web page as soon as that becomes available I'll put it on with the uh, rest of the information in the comments section. I believe it's going to be called Open Source PPG Trike or OSPPG.com. So maybe you're running a paramotor school and you might view this as a threat. You know, you put a lot of time and effort into securing your product line and ensuring that you can deliver trikes and components and service parts for your paramotor students and your other customers. I'd like to encourage you to view this as a potential profit source. You know, once the product is designed, let's say particularly if your sourcing is international, uh, these parts can be made domestically and it's going to be designed with that idea in mind, um, easier access to, to the components. Um, somebody's going to have to put these things together and not every single potential trike purchaser has the skills to do that so there's uh, definitely a profit incentive for somebody that wanted to simply have all the parts made consolidated in one place and build out the trikes so that they're ready you know do the final adjustment and so on so I encourage you to view this as a potential uh, positive not an attack on the existing products that are out there and certainly if you're flying a trike 
there's that one thing that you wish was different and that's what I want to get to. I want everybody that's had trike experience say, you know, I like everything about my product except this. And we'll make it open source, we'll make the better solution, and this is going to happen. So thanks for listening, and if you have any of those talents you want to participate in this project, please get in touch with me.